Next question is from Shai G. If you find yourself having a hard time eating enough food throughout the day due to a busy life, what are some ways to implement more food beside protein powders? Do you use larger, higher calorie meals or snacks? Well, besides the larger, higher calorie meals, which you could totally do, that's really easy. Um, high calorie snacks are, are an easy way to do this. Nuts are phenomenal for this. You know, it's funny. They talk about how nuts are healthy. And yes, they are. They are healthy. But you have no idea how fast. Most people have no idea how fast the calories add up with nuts. Like a, a serving of it's almonds nuts. is like 12, yeah. you know? Yeah. And if most people end up eating about five, uh, you know, servings at a sitting. Mm -hmm. Nuts, for me, one of the best ways to increase uh, calories throughout the day besides protein powders. Protein powders is another one of my favorites. No, it, a serving size is actually more like 23 to 25. But the point is that it, it creeps up quick. And I love to do that, Sal. Like I would, at the end of a meal, it's really easy to eat 20 almonds. Totally. You know, it's not, and and then it's also an easy way to control. So I used to get those little tiny, uh, uh, little sandwich bag. They're like not a sandwich bag. A sandwich wouldn't fit in them. You've seen them. Have you guys it's seen like them? The, the snack bags. Yeah, the little they're little yeah, snack little bags snack that bag. only fit like a couple ounces. And then I'd weigh out them in a serving, like Sal's talking about. And that it's a weed would bag. that be <laughs> it looks kind of like that. <laughs> yes, yes, it does. Uh, that's something that I would do after the meals. The other thing, uh, rice is so easy for me to take down. So. I, bo I would boost my rice. I'm eating two cups with my meat or my meal that I'm having. Now, is this two co cooked two cups? Yes. Or, okay. Yeah, which that's a lot of rice. It is. Yeah. Throw some bone broth in there too sometimes. There right? you go. Yeah. yeah, you could do the bone broth with it like we talked about, the protein rice. So, I mean, that is something that I think is an easy thing. My body digests it quick. Here's what I have found uh, when I, all these times that I've had to really boost calories. The mistake that I made consistently over and over again was thinking that I need to get this calorie intake and then I would choose these like really high calorie foods all the time thinking that that was the best approach. And what I would find is it would fill me up and then I'd be like three, four o'clock in the afternoon and my goal was 5,000 calories and I'm only at 2,000. And now I've got like the bat, you know, the last three hours of eating, I've got to try and get 3,000 calories. It's I'm screwed. So I had to I had to get ahead of the game. I had to do it early. And eating foods that were actually not super high in fat, like my oatmeal, oatmeal and fruit and think nuts, like for breakfast and, and uh berries and strawberries, like that for breakfast. Man, I was I was hungry. Oh, yeah, those fruit smoothies or oh, like fruit and man, veggie smoothies. I was great. I was hungry a half hour later and ready to eat again. So making sure that I'm eating meals that promote hunger and not fill me all up because sometimes you chase the calories, thinking that that's what you that that's the way you need to go, and then that that calorie dense meal ends up filling you up so much that you don't you're not hungry again an hour or two hours later. Where leaner type meals made me keep eating. So then when I hit midday, I had a good, I was already halfway or more than halfway through my calories. And then I have for dinner, I have the ribeye steak. You know, I eat the, the foods that are a little bit higher in calorie or higher that are high, that are also more satiating towards the evening to boost the calories yeah. versus doing that early in the day. I, I got a, I got a, a calorie hack for rice besides cooking it in bone broth, which adds protein. You ever uh, put butter in your rice after yeah. you cook it? Oh, Ooh, yeah. I said I never did that. Jessica taught me that. Yeah, put, put butter nice, on everything. Put yeah. it. I know. I don't I, exactly. Uh, I'm so yeah, disappointed that's a, in myself. That's an easy way to do it. Nice big, you know, tablespoon of butter in your hot rice. Let it melt. Mix up. Add some salt. Oh, yeah. So good. Yeah. Or cheese.